Hi, everyone. What does it mean to use sensuality as medicine or a pathway for our healing? Well, first of all, whenever we feel we need healing, we're experiencing some kind of pain, resistance or fear, right? So we tell ourselves we're some version of broken, inadequate, failing, not good enough, sick, ill, all of that. We get shame, we get the doubts. It's all common and normal. It's just part of the path. And it's familiar to us because it's our shared humanity. So we go from this place of labels, diagnosis, fear, and disconnection to the truer story, which is that we are whole. Difficult parts of life are quote unquote normal. All humans are going to experience the full spectrum of sensation and emotions. And so we're not really broken, actually. We're learning how to move through changes and we're learning how to move through difficulty. We're learning how to digest fear. So where sensuality comes into it is rather than disconnect from feeling our body and resisting the pains, whether they be physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual pains, there's this tendency to fight, flight, freeze, fawn, where we have the mind-body disconnect and we shift away from our sacredness, our sexuality, our sensuality, and spirituality, whatever that means to you. And the body's unable to digest the experience, it's unable to integrate the experience, and so the pains are suppressed and they live within our body as tension patterns. And they can accumulate and just become more and more and more bothersome over time. And this can manifest in any kind of chronic symptom, you know, migraines, pains, worries, anxieties, tinnitus, dizziness, vertigo, numbness, right? We can even have a loss of pleasure, loss of libido. So that's where we start. Sensuality awakens our capacity to explore pleasure, to actually get the mind and the body to feel again. We get the breath to breathe into the present moment and to say yes to feeling what is. So, you know, as you're listening to me now, you can use your fingertips to explore some sens sensation and some pleasure sensuality throughout your body. And what this does is it moves us away from the, the habituated pattern of fight, flight, freeze, fawn, where we cope, protect, or defend ourselves by not feeling. We abandon our body, we abandon our sensation, and we go and try and micromanage life and control things out here. We look for external fixes, external authority, external experts, all of that. When you come back into your sensuality and become masterful at body scanning, which is what I do, it's what my community, my community members practice, but when we come back into the body to have a loving relationship with our bodily sensations, we neurologically change those trauma pathways. And instead of having fear and stress chemicals, the adrenaline, cortisols, etc., we shift with loving attention and sensuality into the love drugs, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, etc. So we have a physiological biochemical shift. And all we're doing is instead of looking away from the body, and looking outside of ourselves and not feeling, disconnecting, we're doing the direct opposite. We're turning our gaze inwards. We're feeling sensation with openness, curiosity, intentionality, willingness, and we're using our sensations and our exploration of pleasure to help us reconnect, to digest life, to integrate the big hard stuff, and to have an avenue to move from fear into connection. We go from the paradigm of fear and separation, we feel our way back into the body and we arrive at this delicious and juicy place of sensuality, pleasure and connection. So the journey of healing can literally be re-engaging with waves of orgasm from very, very subtle whispers of pleasure all the way through to intense ecstatic states. And that is a window of tolerance building exercise. So physiologically, you are learning how to feel more intensity, more arousal, more neurons firing, and you build your capacity to stay with the body, to breathe through it, and to really get that marination of the love drugs, the neurochemistry that help us feel good. And what do you know? Our symptoms disappear. So 
get amongst it. If you want to learn more, visit seekingbalance.com.au. I have heaps of supports for people with chronic symptoms in my Rocksteady community. And I have a new community called Sensing Ground, where we learn about the waves of orgasm. We learn about sensuality and connection, and we learn how to live with our body as our compass. So it's a bye for now.